Well, as rough as bricks. I'll show you the uh, bay in a few minutes. It's like a washing machine. It rained a flood last night. Lightning, thunder. God. We got hope. It's plugged in. I took it out of the rice, plugged it in, and the thing says charging. Well, I called it. That's his buddy's number. He lost a phone a month ago. One month ago. I called his buddy. And his buddy said, okay, that's my, my phone. That's my buddy's phone. I said, well, reach out to me. We'll see more later. It's starting raining again. It's not heavy, but sprinkling. I think I told you I got a hold of the guy. I didn't get a hold of the guy to own the phone, but on the phone it had a number, and that was his buddy's number. So I called his buddy and told him. And I think I already told you he lost it over a month ago. And I'm just waiting to hear back from somebody. It's 10 o'clock now, so I don't know. I got a call from uh, the farmer's market where I went yesterday, I mean Saturday, and picked up that meat. Well, as I was driving through, a guy asked me, he said, do you sharpen knives, huh? I said, yeah. So he just called me and wants me to pick up some knives. I don't know what they are. I said, I only got two, but he's not very far away. It's rough as bricks today. Rough as bricks, I say. Look at that. I don't guess we'll get a spin in today. She's churning like a washing machine. Well, there's the two knives I picked up. One's a good cook, China. The other one looks pretty interesting. It says there's a goldfish, it's Japan. It's uh, got some scratches and stuff on it. I may polish it up a little bit for him. This one I'm just going to sharpen. Well, the fellow with the iPhone just called. He's on his way over to pick it up. Like I told you, he said he lost it a month ago or longer. He thought he lost it someplace else at midnight. He was on the beach at midnight taking a walk, he said. I guess it fell out of his pocket. Then it fell in my scoop. iPhones are made pretty good these days. Been in the salt water for a month, still works. I guess he'll try to turn it on when he gets to my house since he knows the code, you know? So we'll see, I'll take a video of it, see how it turns out. When I carried those other uh, grass trimmers and stuff back to the lady, she told me her neighbor across the street has some stuff. So I just picked up a hedge trimmer, two lopers, and one pruner. I gotta clean them up and then sharpen them up a little bit. Say there you go. There's a guy picking his phone up. Yeah, really appreciate it. Works fine. This. All the music and everything works. Once he put the code in, it works like brand new. Yep, works fine. How uh -huh. long has that been lost? It's been in the water for two weeks. Two weeks, okay. <laughs> two weeks ago, I lost it. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah. 
Well, the Norton rapid strip made quick work of the cleanup. Then I just had to sharpen them. Ten minutes job, maybe. Probably 15 minutes for everything. That rapid strip is a nice creature for this kind of work. The young gentleman who lost that phone told me it was an XR. I thought it was an iPhone 10, but I don't know the difference between iPhone 10 and iPhone Kalamazoo, but he said it's an XR. Uh, XR. That's a 10. 10, I guess. That's, a 10. That's it. The weather is still bad, but improving. I think the recliner will be the rest of the day. But the tide's not low for a full more hour, so it's a possibility.